going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Rebox Monday. Yes, we have hit 1,000 subscribers this week. Oh my goodness. It was like literally the best day of my life. So I just wanted to quickly just say thank you. Thank you to everybody that has recently subscribed and helped me get over the 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, you've been a massive help. I didn't think I'd make it. And I'd like to give an even bigger thanks to everybody else that has well supported me over the last couple of years of doing this like this was only ever meant to be a little bit of a hobby uh, just to show a few friends over the internet my collection and what I add into my collection each week uh, but now it has grown into 1,000 of you 1,000 of you I can't believe it uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous so yes massive thanks to everybody who has subscribed uh, big thanks even more to everybody who has subscribed me from the start uh, it's because of you guys at the original start that has pushed me and pushed me and pushed me to get to this position. So I just want to say a really, really huge thanks to all you guys. Uh, it is all because of you that I'm here at 1,000 subscribers. So today I thought we would open up these really nice Johnny Lightnings that I got the other week. Uh, because, well, all I've got to show for this week is literally... Do, 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 do. this these four items are all that I was able to find this week so yeah <laughs> very slow week for Hot Wheels very slow week for everything to be honest couldn't find anything um, but yeah was lucky enough to find a couple more majorettes so we'll add these ones into the collection and this is the red Jeep Rubicon Got them for a really, really good price. These are normally around six dollars, uh, not the two ninety-five mark. Uh, their, their prices are always very strange at this store. None of their prices make sense. Some stuff is even more expensive. Like if you buy a, a regular Hot Wheels car, which you pay two dollars for in most stores, uh, they charge three dollars for them, and their compare at price is actually four dollars. So. God knows where they're buying their cars at $4 for. So yeah, two bucks is a fantastic price for Majorette. $2 is great because it's the price of a Hot Wheels and this comes with all of the goodies. You get your good suspension. Look at that. Really nice paint job. Nice uh, canopy in the back there too, actually. Gets really cool looking spare wheel on the back. You can't see any painted real lighting detail unfortunate and these wheels are really nice really nice get Rubicon on the front there and they get the lensed headlights yes big black plastic bull bar on the front there or bash bar whatever you want to call it and get Jeep on the front there lens lights you get little spotlights on the bottom there all painted up there too so very happy very happy to find Majorettes for two bucks fantastic price uh, there's the base for anybody that would like to read it. Try and get into a position where you can all read it. 160th scale. There you go. It even comes with a little tow hitch. Very, very cool. And next up, we found the white version of the Toyota Hilux. So that's really nice to find. Found the, it's kind of like a, uh, a cyan blue or a cyan green whichever way you'd like to look at it. It's bluey green kind of color. But here we have a nice metallic white. You see a lot of the metallic shining on the camera there. Very nice to see. Really nice lensed headlights. Toyota grill. It's little fog lights painted up. That's really cool. And yes, that's painted up there too on that little bit of grill there clear window, left hand drive, highlights on the side, you get the B pillar painted in black, door handles are all painted up, famous majorette squishy suspension, I love it, Toyota Hilux, REV something on the back there, nice painted tail lights, very clean, very crisp, you get the uh, the handle there painted and the third brake light too really cool full metal bed what a cool looking car 
and it also gets the tow hook. Very nice. And there's the base for this one. 158 scale. Ah, it's a Revo. That's what it says. Revo. So that's pretty cool. Um, no, I thought that opened for a second there, but you don't usually get the, uh, on these streetcar versions, you don't usually get opening parts. Um, next up, I'm not, get, not actually going to open this one up. Um, not a real big collector of He-Man, but it was literally the only thing that I could find this week. And it's really cool, actually. Like, you can see a lot of the detail in there. Looks really, really cool. Um, you can even shoot this little cannon by the looks of it. Little button there. Maybe something fires out. Very nice. It comes with the real rider tires. Full metal construction. Pretty cool looking paint job and all. Um, doesn't say anything uh, about what set it's from. It's just from an entertainment series. So we'll chuck that guy up there. Um, I found two of these before. So... Uh, I was gonna, I found uh, this second one because I found two already, one with the variation, with the empty tray, and one with all the junk in the back there like you can see. So I thought we'd actually open this one. Why not? So if I can get this out, there we go. There's the surfboards, which would have sat just there. So let's just have a look at these uh, little pieces quickly. Because I want to see them stuck together. We'll put this guy just over the back there for one second. Alright, so we've got a little guy on a sun chair. He's got his beer in his hand, chilling out, relaxing, all of that. Very cool. Put him just over there for a second. Then we get the range of surfboards and a treasure chest. Not focusing very well. There we go. A little bit of a treasure chest of some sort there. Along with the surfboards. That's really cool. There's the other side. And then next up we get this thing. So I'm pretty sure that we put this guy... There we go. Now we surf in the tube, dude. How cool is that? Totally radical, man. Surf in the barrels. Woo! Yeah! So that's pretty cool. I do like that. Surf in the giant wave. Really cool. Alright, let's get on to this now. I know that this is what everybody actually wants to look at. This is the Volkswagen. Little, what is it, a T1? It just calls, it's just called the uh, Volkswagen Transporter Cab and the Travel Trailer 2. So have a look at the back, Volkswagen Transporter Cab, really nice light blue paint job, very cool. Get all this junk in the back there, get a chain, spare wheel and what looks to be a tent bag or a suitcase or a duffel bag, whatever they call them. Yeah, maybe it's just all tools, probably. Who knows, who knows? Maybe it's a change of clothes for him when he goes surfing. But look at the detail on the side here. Matchbox Surf Club. That's cool. Love this detail, locals only. Very, very nice. You get these hubcap wheels. Such a fantastic detail on the side there. I love that. You get the front all detailed and painted up too. Wow, that's awesome. Gets a tan interior. That's really nicely done on the front there. Uh, get the silver base, not a chrome base. And uh, no details painted on the back there, but that's okay. Not really going to notice it when you have it on display, especially with the caravan. Uh, comes with the tow hook, obviously. And then we'll quickly look at this. As you can see, this matches in perfectly with the, the actual Volkswagen. Very cool. Let's see if we can attach that just quickly. Love that. That yellow line going straight through all the way. Just fantastic. That's cool. Plastic top. Oh, it's got stuff in it. 
Awesome. I wonder if there's a variation of this. So I know Matchbox likes to do various kinds of uh, variations for things. So I might have to double check on the other ones that I have. And uh, maybe they've got a variation. So that's really, really cool. I'll just add this over here. And we'll sort that out after. We will sort that out after. Ah, that's right. Last week, we opened up the Toyota MR2 and it has popped up headlights. And then I had a few people commenting saying that there's a variation for it with the headlights popped down. So I'm taking this out of the prize box for the mystery box 1000 subscriber uh, prize. Uh, I'll try and replace it if I can, uh, but I have to know. Uh, these were both in the same box together. So I have to know, is this variation going to be in the same box with the pop-up headlights? So we'll throw that guy up there for a second. I just have to know, have to know. Do we have the second variation? No, it has the popped up headlights also. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. I'll have to keep an eye out for the, for another box of these, or at least another one of these and try and find the, the headlights down version. Uh, but here we go anyway, let's just, let's get the box out of my hand. As you can see, it's exactly the same. No difference, same popped up headlights, which I like. I really like those popped up headlights. Nice chromey wheels. Love the detail on the back there in Toyota Mister 2. Awesome. That's really cool. So I'm going to put this guy over there and we're going to try again next week. We're going to see if we can find another one next week. So, okay, let's get into these. Let's get into these because they're going to take up a little bit of time to get through all of these. Uh, this is the Johnny Lightning, one of 2,500. Uh, some extra information there you can read. Bright blue poly, very, very nice. This is the second release of this series. This is the, the first release color. So keep your eyes out for a red version. I know I'll be keeping my eyes out for the red version. Uh, the 1971 Dodge Charger Super B, yes. and get these out because I like to keep the, the packaging there for them so I can store them nicely because I don't currently have very many places to put cars at the moment so they're I'm trying to save trying to save some packaging to keep them back in there but this is nice look at that color oh here we go super B on the front there awesome love the details on these Johnny lightings Great headlight detail, grill details all chromed out very nicely. You get a license plate, you get indicators. Wow. It's a blue interior. Nice drag style wheels. Fantastic details on the side there too. Looks really, really good. Really nice with that black stripe going across the back there. And on the back we have the chrome treatment around the bumpers as well. Love the lighting detail, the license plate. Get the logo on the back there for it'll focus. There you go, kind of read that. Fantastic. Metal, metal, awesome. And you get the detailed engine in there too. Look at that, how cool is that? Love that. Awesome, that's really nice. Throw that guy over there and we'll get into the Buick. This is the 1970 Buick GS Stage 1. And there's some extra info, Desert Gold Poly. Uh, was a white one, obviously. Ooh, I like that gold. I do quite like gold cars. <laughs> there's just something about them. Just something about a gold car with some nice detail onto them. Just, they just look really good. There's some really cool looking wheels as well on this one. It's a red, yeah, a little red stripe down on the rocker there, really cool. Get the silver paint all the way around also over the arches. Nice. Gets the vinyl roof, the brown leather. What is that? It's kind of like a, 
a light tan leather interior. Get all that silver treatment around the back of the window. Love the details on the back there too. They just look so nice and clean. Love the number plates and everything. Just the, the amount of detail that they put into these cars is really, really, really good. I like these a lot. Nice details on the front there too. Try and get that into focus. And we'll have a look in the engine of this one too. Oh, that's cool. Can't really open it enough to get enough light in there. That's awesome, but so cool. Such awesome, awesome cars. Next up is the 1969 and a half Dodge Coronet Super B. I love the card art on this one. This one looks really cool. I think there's another one. Yeah, there's another one. The Tasker Ford. That's a really cool one. I know I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. I'm going by number. Um, some extra information there. Bright green poly. And this is so nice. This is really cool. There we go. Wow, guess the white vinyl roof, the blacked out matte black bonnet. Oh, cool, it comes with hood pins. What does that say on the top there? Oh, I can't read that. How is anyone supposed to read that? That's so tiny. Guess the red line tires on your steelies. Very cool, white interior. Nice, mean looking front end there. That's cool. It's all the headlight details, the crack, or the silver paint for the, the bumpers. That's nice. Oh, this is really cool. Gets a black dashboard. That's awesome. And a white interior. Gets this white stripe going all the way around the top of the back there. All your lighting details as well. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. And I think that's a little Super B logo on the back there. It's just not very clear. But that is really nice. Wow. <laughs> you can see the engine in this one quite easily. Very, very bright. That's really cool. There you go. There's a good angle for the light. Nice. This feels like plastic or very thin metal. Okay, let's get into the next one. This is the 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS. And there's extra information plus your emerald turquoise poly. And that is a really nice color. That is a very, very nice color. Wow, that metallic is really cool. It's really bright. That's a really nice turquoise, emerald turquoise, was it? I don't know, I can't, I threw the thing away, I can't see it now. There's these drag wheels with the red line tires, all these silver paint around the window, door handles, black vinyl roof. That's so cool, we've got a badge on the front there, your Chevy flags by the looks of it, or your SS flags, whatever they call them. There's the vents. On the bonnet there, you get your wipers all painted up, silver around the window. Grill looks awesome, white headlights. That's awesome, I can't read the license plate. Maybe you guys can read it. And that bumper, the whole front end is just such an unmistakable front end. You would never mistake this car for anything other than a Chevy. Absolutely fantastic. And then the back end, there's really cool lights. That looks so good. That's so good with the silver bumpers and everything. Such a cool looking car. And then we'll open this up. That opens actually really nicely. And look at the engine. Wow. Silver rocker covers, silver F filter cover. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Wow. That's nice. Now we're going to move this stuff out of the way. 
so we can start lining up the other cars on this side. Now let's get into it. Let's get into it. This is the 1964 Ford Thunderbolt Bill Lawson Tasker Ford. And the really cool card art on this one as well with the 427 badge there. That's nice. And your extra information you can read. And this is Vintage Burgundy Poly. Wow. Wow. This color looks really, really cool. It's got the gold roof. That's just such a deep, deep, deep metallic burgundy. That is really, really nice. You get some pretty cool crony wheels. All your racing sponsors along the side there. That looks awesome. Looks like it's just come off the racetrack. We're just about to go on the racetrack. That is really, really nice. I love that. Bill Lawton on the side under the window. All your chrome detailing around the windows and along the side. Fantastic. This is beautiful. This has to be the best out of the bunch. You'll have to let me know what you guys think because Wow, this is just really, really awesome. I think that the uh, the Super B would have been my favorite if this one wasn't in the pack, because that's just really cool. And this chromed out front end, fantastic. That looks really cool. You get the blacked out black chrome in the grill there. That's really nice. Such a great looking color. The metallic gold on the top there. Go to the side, we get the racing sponsors once again. Fantastic wheel choice, those look really, really cool. Come out to the back, we get these kind of bullet lights. How awesome is that? Actually, get bullet lights, chrome bumpers, chromed out on the back there with the Ford on the boot lid. And let's get into the let's get into the actual engine bay. Wow, that opens pretty far. Gets a bit, bit of silver paint on the front there as well. And some hood pins. And the engine, there you go, you can see it's blue with a silver silver top. That's oh, really cool. Wow, look at the induction there. Induction pipe straight into the, into the top, straight into the air intake. That's awesome. So I assume that these two are just open holes just ready to suck air into the engine, straight into the supercharger. I'm assuming that it's got a supercharger in it. I don't know. I do not know. All I know is that this is an absolutely fantastic model and a prime piece for my collection. I think that that is really cool. Really, really cool. And the last car, before we get rid of the box, is the... 1965 Chevy Impala SS. Yes, very, very popular car, very famous car. There's all your extra information. Galacia Grey Poly. There you go. Nice card art once again. I'd like to find this one, to be honest. If that's white with gold trim, that would be top notch. And I'll quickly show you the back of this just so you can have that extra information. All the cards are exactly the same. So extra information you can pause and read for this set if you'd like to go and find them yourself. Wow, that's a nice, nice color. It really is like a glacier blue. A glacier, glacier gray, bluey kind of color. Very nice, very nice. On the side here we get some really cool wheels. Once again, those drag style wheels, and the classic drag wheels. And once again with the Chevys, an unmistakable front end, you'll know this is a Chevy whenever you see one. Just such a cool looking car. I'm a big fan of the Chevy Impalas. Very cool, and this is a two door pillarless as well. So that's really cool. On the back there, we get those bullet tail lights. Fantastic, I love that. You know, the badging, 
You get a bit of a black paint stripe around the, the bumper there, very cool. License plates. That color is just amazing. Just absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's really, really good. All right, let's get into the engine. That's what we really want to see. I want to see the detail in this. Ooh, this one's silver. Oh no, there we go, there's the orange. I was wondering where the Chevy orange went. Oh, that's really cool. That is so cool. And that's the last car that we have. So, I'm just gonna quickly set this up. Put that there. Just chuck this stuff over here. Put that guy down there. Put, try and stay together, please. There we go. All right, there we go. That's kind of like the end of the show, but um, what I wanted to do was just quickly take a minute, if I may. Um, last week, I was going to add these into the uh, this set here, I should say, into the 1,000 subscriber mystery box. Uh, but because it's a 1,000 subscriber mystery box, I'm actually going to do three prizes. So you have to keep your ears open for a future video in the next couple of weeks, I assume, once I figure out uh, everything that I'm going to do for it. Um, yeah, this will be this one whole set will be one prize. So. Uh, make sure that you're tuned in, you're subscribed and all of that, you've got your notifications and all of that on because you don't want to miss out on your chance to win a set of these Matchbox Superfast cars. You will get all five of those cars. So very, very cool. And for first prize, I'm going to do an absolutely mysterious mystery box where you won't know what's in it. I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of stuff in there. And yeah, I think that I think that would be pretty cool. And for third prize, oh, well, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for third prize yet. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have to have a think about that. Maybe you guys have some suggestions on what I could do. Maybe I can even make this, this, this set here, third prize, and second place and first place can get a mystery box of some description, uh, depending. I don't know. I don't know. Put your thoughts down below on what I should do for my 1,000 subscriber uh, mystery box giveaway. So. Yeah, let me just clean up some of this mess. And I'm gonna to have to sign off now. And I'm gonna wish you all a fantastic day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got a whole bunch of uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels five packs from the last couple of years that I haven't opened. And I thought that this week, we would do the oldest one first. So this is the oldest five pack that I own. This is a Volkswagen Classics. And it also has the only Matchbox Volkswagen van or bus that I have in my entire collection. Like this is the only one that I have. So it'd be very nice to open this up. I can do comparisons with all four of these, uh, but I can, only, I can only show that one there. So yeah, at the end of the week, look forward to this. There's your uh, copyright date, 2010. And yeah, we'll crack that open. Why not? Why not? Oh, we'll just sit that there actually. Put this guy over there. That's it guys. I'm just going to say thanks again for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. I'm, I'm still in shock. I am. I'm absolutely still in shock that I made it this far. And it's all thanks to you. It, it really is. It's all thanks to you guys and the support you give me. And just tuning in each week, leaving your comments. And it's just fantastic. I love talking to you guys. and getting getting to to know you through my own collection i know, get to know what you guys like what you guys like to see and because of that my collection has grown i've actually started collecting things that i never thought i'd ever start to collect um very happy that the johnny lightnings are now in australia so that's one part that i can easily start to collect but yeah there's been a whole bunch of other things that i've just uh, been exposed to since since i've started this such as Mini Champs, I had never heard of Mini Champs before, so perhaps we will open this one up. Same as Norev. I didn't even know Norev was really a, a good company until I, I met my friend at Chasing Diecast Cars. So uh, thanks to him, he has helped me grow my collection, he's, he's increased my knowledge. So if you guys haven't 
subscribe to Chasing Diecast Cars. You've, you've missed out a little bit because it's, it's a really good channel and he's really a nice guy. He's, he's helped me. He's helped me quite a lot over my journey. Um, and yeah, he's been there for quite a long time. I could go into naming so many people, but I just mentioned him because, uh, yeah, he, he's helped my collection grow. As I said, didn't really even know these companies existed. And ever since that he sent me these little gifts, I've just been completely blown away. I've been completely interested. We'll leave that guy down there because that's a really cool one. And it's just been a real good help. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you once again to everybody. And this is, this is as much your show as it is mine. So please put your input down below. Um, oh, ask a question. I want you guys to ask a question as well. I want to do like a top 10 frequently asked questions. So if you want to put down a question that you've always wanted to ask me, chuck it down below and I'll, I'll try and get to that uh, next week. I might do a, uh, a, a whole FAQ, like a top 10 FAQ style video. So yeah, it'll be fun to watch. I'd like to know what you guys want to know. And until next week, take care of yourselves and I will see you all then. Bye guys, thanks again.